Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So back to the technical analysis, SPY is currently down 40 basis points on the one-hour chart. We are approaching to negative MACD, and as for the four-hour chart, we are starting to see a convergence on the four-hour MACD and we may turn positive on the MACD and as for the daily chart if we expand out further we start to see we are making lower lows and the highs have not made new highs so we do see this as our resistance at around a price of $293.40 and at the moment we made new lows this week and if we expand out further to the weekly chart, we start to see the 18-week moving average acting as our resistance. So do keep that in mind. And at that moment, it is acting as our resistance. And as for the daily chart, if we were to find support and we do reverse lower, and we also see the 9-day moving average, the blue line, converging onto the purple line, the 18-day moving average. So we may see a low, another low at around the 50-day moving average at around price of $269.60. So that will be our first immediate support. And if we do manage to hit that 50 moving average, that price movement is roughly around 5.2% to the downside. And as for previous resistance, we, that price movement is around 3.1% to the upside. So let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model for the S&P 500. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have, say, a 100% chance for the S&P 500 to climb higher between 1.3% to 2.5%. reason why it's 100% chance is that we only have one model to base it on, and the sample size is small. So do keep this 100% chance in mind. So let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So we have one day out, that will be a Monday, Tuesday, two days out will be a Tuesday, and so on. So three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So how I found this model, it happens to be the only match we found to the current trend. And this trend dates back to July 22nd to September 3rd, 2002. So we have the current map right, right here. And below is the trend is the best match. And let's compare the two charts. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We proceeded to rest on the middle Bollinger Band. And then we climb higher to touch the upper Bollinger Band. And now we're nearing the bottom Bollinger Band towards the end of the chart. So now we start to see it. A similar pattern here as well. We start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, rest it along the middle Bollinger Band, and then quickly climb higher to the upper Bollinger Band and slowly revert below to touch the bottom Bollinger Band. So what we have here is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model we just examined Back then, the S&P 500 was up around 1.3% to the upside. And now if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation between 1.3% to 2.5%. So let's examine closer at the technical performance of each model. So on the current trend, we're down 3.3% from monthly high. We're up 12 0.5% from monthly low, down 90 basis points from 10 simple moving average, and down 40 basis points from 20 simple moving average. We do not have the 50 day moving average due to the trend being only 30 days out. So now the trend in question that we just examined, back then it was down 9.5% from monthly high, up 9.4% from monthly low, down 5.6 from 10 simple moving average and down 4.4% from 20 simple moving average. So there is slight technical difference, but altogether it 
the technical performance are the same. The only difference will be the distance from where it was from monthly high compared to that back then in 2002, the trend was down 9% from monthly high to our current case, we're only down 3%. And back here on the 10 simple moving average back then it was down 5.6% down from 10 simple moving average compared to our current trend where we're only down 90 basis points. And same here as for the 20 simple moving average. And again, these models are now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.